Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I'm cleaning out my truck today after uh, um, a wet and soggy range day yesterday uh, with some students. And um, as I was cleaning some stuff up, I figured I would show y'all kind of my range box. Um, this is a, like I think a $30 uh, Plano box. Y'all can see right there. Uh, it's a little Plano box that I keep all my stuff in, uh, all my range supplies, and I just figured I'd show y'all what I keep in there. First, I've got a couple of these DACA pouches right here, these magical DACA pouches. Uh, I love these things uh, because they are uh, waterproof, and um, I keep a lot of, on this one, I keep a lot of my paper targets in there, so like B8s or whatnot. Uh, this one right here, I keep uh, extra staples and uh, Sharpies and markers and things like that. Uh, cones right here. I keep some uh, soccer cones uh, for marking off uh, different distances, doing different drills. Uh, these are great because you can step on them and they're cheap. Uh, so those, uh, probably the most important thing is my trauma bag right here. Uh, I've got tourniquets and pressure dressings and all that stuff to uh, treat multiple people. So uh, I've got that. Extra set of ear pro in case somebody needs some. In addition to that, I always keep a bunch of um, just basic cheap earplugs. Uh, spray adhesive. I keep a couple cans of spray adhesive. Um, I like to spray. I don't like to use much staples other than my cardboard backers on the stands. I like to use spray adhesive uh, because it is much better with uh, wind resistance. Uh, and then also if it's uh, just a horrible day like yesterday, it was raining. Um, I don't have to worry. While that my targets do get wet, they, they hang up. So uh, I prefer uh, I prefer to use spray adhesive. So, um, so we got some pasties and some masking tape uh, to take up targets. Guys, there's no need to hang up new targets every once in a while. Just put some tape, some pasties up there, and uh, save your save your money. Uh, a couple staplers right here. Uh, I got a main primary and a backup. Uh, some more spray adhesive. Uh, I probably use this thing more than anything, guys. My blue gun. I uh, use this for demonstrations, uh, kind of weapons handling, things like that. So a blue gun, a uh, couple extra pairs of glasses for people. I uh, got a couple clipboards in case somebody needs to fill out some waivers or something like that. Sunscreen, living down here in the south, you got to have that. I uh, also got some band-aids uh, in case... A lot of times I work with brand new shooters and we're out there for several hours and that's the first time they've ever shot for a long period of time. So a lot of times, depending on the gun that they have, uh, it might rub some raw spots in their hand. Like I had somebody with a sky pistol. Um, I had to tape up that grip uh, with some masking tape or if somebody um, is just new to it, uh, some band-aids just to kind of help out little boo-boo stuff. Uh, some spray paint for paint and steel targets. I've got black, red, uh, I've got my normal targets, so I've got my qualification targets, uh, and then some other like FBI style targets, the uh, big ones that I like to hang up or whatnot. Um, always a good idea to keep uh, just some basic tools, screwdriver, I've got a, like a multi-purpose screwdriver. Uh, and then one of the things that I really like is uh, this was given to me a couple years ago for Christmas, a little cobalt um, socket set. So I've got this uh, multi-purpose socket set. Uh, a couple of the target stands that I use have lag bolts uh, because they can accept a bunch of different type of targets. And so it's great to have something like this around. See, we got some bug spray once again down here in the south, especially when it starts to get warm. Mosquitoes suck. So we got some bug spray. And then I've got some other miscellaneous stuff in there like uh, uh, ties and, and different things like that. But anyway, guys, just a quick rundown of what I keep in my, uh, keep in my box. Um, anytime I'm going to the range, I keep this with me and it has everything I need, uh, for, uh, for a good range session. So, um, maybe you saw something that you didn't think of before, uh, but nonetheless, guys, thank you for watching. Be safe, be smart, be skilled. Catch you on the next video.